Dave Ramsey's Seven Baby Steps is ruining my marriage. Every time I I look at these uh, these stupid steps, you know, you're already used to the way that you're living. You know what I'm saying? You're already used to going out to eat and spending money here and there. Uh, you know, life creeps up on you the way, you know, the, the way how you're living. And you know what I'm saying? It's like living inside your house. Okay. Think about this. And then going to live outside your house to save some money. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference. And then you tell your spouse, you say, hey, now it's time to not eat out anymore. We got to eat at home. We got to. We don't watch movies anymore. We cut the cable off. We cut the lights off. We cut. We're gonna eat rice and beans every day. You know what I'm saying? These are these are life changing altercations. These aren't just you know you come home one day and you know it's easier when it's forced on you because you don't have any money. But you have to you have to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I want to do these seven baby steps. And it's true what he, uh, Dave Ramsey was saying about some, uh, you, you know, 100% of people, okay? 100% of people that don't save don't have any money. You know what I'm saying? Now, why is that true? <laughs> It's true because people that that don't save, hundred percent, a hundred percent of people, a hundred percent of people that don't save, don't have any money because they're not saving any money. That's the difference. They don't have any money because they're not saving. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much money you're getting. If you're not saving any money, hundred percent, hundred percent of people. If you're not saving any money, you're not gonna have any money because you're not saving anything so that's the thing 100 percent of people that don't save any money don't have any money because they're not saving anything doesn't matter how much you get next thing is you know what i'm saying dave ramsey saying seven baby says you're gonna save save five hundred dollars pay off your debts you know what I'm saying one of the steps is if you have kids you know pay for their college what if you don't have kids? There is no seven steps. Now it's six steps. I don't have any goddamn kids. What the hell are you talking about, son? You're foolish. You know what I'm saying? There's no damn kids. I don't have any debt. But it doesn't matter if you don't have debt or not. If you don't have enough income. Because you broke. You see what I'm saying? I don't have any debt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm debt free. You have to save money. <sighs> Uh, I agree with that. I agree with, yeah, you have to save money. This is down to three things. It's, it's, it's three simple steps. It's, you, don't, you don't have to do seven steps. It's three simple steps. It's making money is number one. You have to make some kind of money. Two, number two, you have to make some kind of money to save money. Two, save money and if you can go from days make months months make years if you can go from one month to month with saving something that carries on to the next month 30 28 to 31 days depending on the month you will always have more money every month and be that much more rich wealthy whatever you want to call it every month so every month, uh, I like the one thing he's another thing he says that I also agree with though. If you can save a hundred dollars a month that carries over onto the next month, that's that much more. It doesn't have to be a hundred dollars though. Let's say you, you need to carry something, you need to start practicing carrying something over, carry over fifty dollars to the next month. You know, you know. By the end of the year, you let you have let's see, one hundred, two hundred, six hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? In two years, you have one thousand two hundred. It just it just adds up. You can't think about it too much because once you start thinking about it, then you're gonna want to spend it. Oh, and then you spend this money. You have to have some sort of discipline to carry these out, to carry out these savings. Okay, and the third one is 
Well, investing money. If you're not investing any money, you know what I'm saying? Your saving is only going to do so much for you. You have to invest something, you know, invest 5%, invest something, you see what I'm saying? And you don't, you know, if you're investing into too much in one, try to invest in something. Try to not put all your eggs in one basket, you see what I'm saying? You want to have a diverse portfolio, you see what I'm saying? You want to be investing in a lot of different things. So, making money is number one. And number two is saving money, okay? And number three is investing money. Those three steps. And I'm not, it's not a specific amount. You just keep going up. You see what I'm saying? And another thing I don't agree with, David Ramsey, is you know, don't give your money away. In the end, he said, oh, well, you're making a bunch of money. Give us, give some money away. Do, do, do. Dirt, dirt, dirt. You don't have to give anything away. Don't think like that. You're not going to think. I'm saving money now to give it away. That's a stupid, stupid thing that he says. And he's always saying other people are stupid and things that other people do are stupid. That's a stupid thing to think about saving so you can give it away later on. That's a stupid thing to say. I feel, I feel meant that's an oxymoron. Okay. It's an oxymoron to think or believe I'm going to save this money to give it away to some uh you know crackhead or homeless or whatever it is because you're doing that for you you see what i'm saying you know you you have to do it for yourself because the only one person in this world that you can control is you you can't control anybody else it would be a, a form of insanity and people who do that usually go to jail because they feel <sighs> They end up doing stupid shit, trying to control other people, or they you're gonna it's gonna drive you crazy or something like that. It's gonna drive you crazy trying to control somebody. Control yourself. You can you can tell people what what they can uh, can't do, especially if they're living in your house or if they're have some type of relationship with you. You know, especially if you're giving out the money. You know, you have to. That's you. You see what I'm saying? You have to. Everything is not a one way street. It's a two-way street, so you have to see what I'm giving the money out. You know, I'm giving out, you know, this much amount of money, X amount of money for this, for that. And then somebody just, you don't like what somebody's doing, we'll stop giving the money. You see what I'm saying? We'll stop being like, you know, <clears throat> here's money, and you know, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> throw this away. And then people spending money on stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop spending money on stupid shit that you don't need. Are having instead of having hobbies of shopping at the thrift store, shopping at uh, you know at stores. Why don't you get a hobby of making money? You see what I'm saying? Get some hobbies where you make money instead of spend money. You see what I'm saying? Those are better hobbies where you can be productive, where you can learn, work on yourself. One of the other, another thing I agree with what he says is, um, eighty percent application of knowledge, twenty percent is knowledge. I would I would lower it though. I would say seventy percent is application, thirty percent knowledge. That's what I would say because it's more. You still need more knowledge. You, knowledge is infinite, right? But we're talking about the economic knowledge type. Which is still infinite, but because numbers are infinite, but that's one thing. I would lower the number. I would say 70% is application of knowledge, 30% is knowledge. So once you know what you're supposed to do with money, you need to apply it. If you don't apply it, then everything you know is stupid. Uh, like one person has said, if you know the lottery numbers that are going to win for tomorrow, but you don't go and buy the numbers, is the knowledge is useless so you have to have application of knowledge which like I said a little while ago is basically a form of discipline it's a form of discipline to to know that you have money there and you know or you want to do something I want to go see this place I want to go eat out I want I want I want you're always gonna want you see what I'm saying like, subscribe, and share to my, my video and my channel.